Here we have a gear trains kit that demonstrates the characteristics of different gears, including spur gears, bevel gears and worm drives. Students are able to learn about the efficiency, gear ratio and mechanical advantage of each gear set. Techquipment offers a range of experiments that can be attached to a standard work panel, as shown here, for understanding the basics of engineering science. This kit is one of many. The kit itself comes with a selection of different widely used gears, a weight hanger and a set of weights each weighing 10 grams each in a sturdy box. There are three different types of gears, a set of spur gears, a bevel gear and a worm drive. As with all spur gears, we have the straight cut teeth around the circumference pointing away from the gear centre. Power transfers from one gear shaft to another, with both gears being on the same plane. The spur gears in this experiment have two sets of gears on the same shaft. To perform experiments for compound gear trains, where one or more gears of the train share a shaft. On to looking at bevel gears, which have teeth facing away from the side of the wheel at an angle, where power transfers. Here you can see an example of one in real life. We have a hand drill. The main advantage is the ability to change operating angle as well as the mechanical advantage. Here and here. Finally, let's take a look at a worm drive that consists of a revolving cylinder that has a screw type thread called the worm shaft with a worm wheel with teeth set at a different angle. The result is that the worm drive achieves a high velocity ratio and mechanical advantage, but they cannot back drive like the spur and bevel gears. In some cases, that's an advantage. The weights we have over here are added to the driver to replicate load and for calculating effort values. To learn about the dynamic efficiency of various drive types, Techquipment also provides the geared systems experiment, as shown in the playlist and linked in the description below.